Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what might be the next episode of Low Elo Legends. I just spent seven hours of, but yeah, pretty much nonstop casting high level play, and I've decided to cast some Low Elo Legends now. There might be a big difference in quality, meaning these players will be way better. Theron is in the blue. He is playing as the Ethiopians. This is Black Forest. And then we have Taru, M T Taru who has taken his cow far... Oh, two cows. All right, perfect. So, now that we see how he has decided to eat his cows far away from the TC, I would like to start off by saying, I might laugh, I might cry, I might weep, I might sigh. This is Low Elo Legends. I hope that I can help you guys improve. I hope that people watching this will be more comfortable playing online after watching some of these games. And I hope that you, viewer, who decides you want to defend the honor of these two individuals, do not get upset with me because some people do. Even though... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Just passing. <laughs> Even though... I have never heard a single negative thing from the people I have casted in Low Elo Legends. There are always people out there who feel the need to defend these people. And I get it. I'm just trying to have a good time and teach people and learn, okay? Now, Red, he started off very aggressively with the scout. However, he received a few hits from Blue. So, I, I believe in his ability to micro. I believe he will run back. Oh, he did it! You do 25% more damage when on top of the hill, Red. Go to the hill. Okay. Blue bales. Perfect. So, there's a couple things that I need to point out about Black Forest. First off, this is a really weird map gen. Normally, you have one choke point. DE has actually given us two choke points to wall here. So, if you want to play super safe, you could do that. Um, second... <laughs> um, this is not necessarily Black Forest, but we see this straggler tree thing again. So... This really bothers me, and I will admit, this is probably the one thing that I see most frequently in Low Elo Legends that makes me want to pull my hair out. <laughs> but, I've been told that people really don't like these trees, and so they don't care how much villager bumpage there is. They don't care how much villager idle time there is when there's walking. So I'm going to just accept that this is how the Low Elo Legend players choose to start, okay? Ducks the Savior in my Twitch chat has pointed out that in one game, cutting the straggler trees, Viper confirmed. In one game, in a two v two, Viper decided to chop the straggler trees and build a mill before building a lumber camp. And now everyone is saying if Viper does it, it must be right. I would not suggest it. All right, I would not suggest it. But you know, live your life. Whoa! Oh, oh God! Oh. Here, I'll help. Oh god. Oh no! Blue's being attacked by a bear as well! Oh, wildlife is against him! Oh wait. Oh, the bear has the hill. Oh no! There's another bear here too! Quick wall! If Viper does it, you could do it! Quick wall! Quick wall! Quick wall, my friend! Oh! Okay. It's been a rough start for Blue. Alright, it's been a very rough start. Don't tell me. Whew. Oh, man. Uh, but he did the right thing here to wall that up. I, I like that. Okay. So, he did build a lumber camp, actually, which is brilliant. Now, if he wants to mill, he can do it. Um, he is down by three villagers, which hurts to see. But these lumber camp these lumberjacks are so inefficient, they might as well not even exist. So, it it's identical, if you ask me. Now remember, Red had less HP before, but now that Blue attacked the bear, Red has more HP. Um, And yeah, we'll see what happens. That's Mongols against Ethiopians, and both of these players are 600 rated. Okay, so there will be some flaws in their gameplay. It's definitely possible for Blue to come back after his rough start. Now you have this much on wood. Now would be the time to probably get some villagers over here to mill. Um, you could even go crazy and you could mill out here of those deer if you're not comfortable luring them in. I'm totally fine with that. Alright, red. What's funny is, if he just saw Blue's scout, he might remember that he... He might think that his scout is weaker, and he's probably not high elo enough to check the HP there by clicking it, so... 
He might actually be scared of fighting. Teru is actually unranked. They lied to you. Oh, really? Is he unranked? What if you're lying to me? What are those farms? Alright. Uh, I've been there. Okay? I have definitely been there. So here's the strategy. If you place your farms right next to the town center, you do get food faster. However, then villagers spend more time walking over the farms, so the food is dirty, and um, you, you get sick more often. So this is a great way to prevent disease, is leave gaps between the farm and the drop-off point. Um, so hopefully he also leaves the, the gap here. Uh, hopefully he leaves a one-tile... Oh, yep, very consistent. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Hmm. And he's just guarding this area, I guess? Okay. He did see the blue walled this up. He has some TC idle time. I think he might be saving up for feudal. Ideally, though, you can keep your town centers producing until you actually have the food to click up to feudal. Because now blue... Blue is kind of catching up here. Now, I know what you're thinking. T90, if this guy chopped the straggler trees and built a farm over it, it would remove the straggler tree, and then these villagers would be more efficient. And you would be correct. <laughs> so it actually would be a bad idea for him to do that. Okay, Blue is building a, uh, a barracks now. Alright, so are we going to see aggression? Aggression? Oh, a barracks from Red as well. Whoa, I just realized Red didn't take any of his boars. What? Whoa, okay, so he doesn't... He's afraid of the pigs. He saw what happened in the other town. The scouts came back and they said avoid the animals. They're not worth it. In your Legend of Rust vid, you asked what's his mean game length. Got your back here. An average Rust game is 129 minutes on Voobly. Wait, are we talking real time, Sam, or are we talking game time? Yes, Rust DM is the legend who probably plays more Age of Empires than anyone. Um, and he's the guy who has a recorded game, which is 19 hours long. Which I may or may not have said I will cast if we hit 250,000 YouTube subscribers. More Rust games on YouTube. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's let's get a few more YouTube subs before I consider that one. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Well, what is... <gasps> oh, that's a vill. Okay, so he wants to wall this. This is smart. So if you wall... Then, if your opponent's aggressive, you have some time to react to it and even wall behind. So, playing defensive is is definitely the good move on Black Forest. On other maps, it's kind of hard to wall, but this is just asking for a wall. So, nothing with the barracks just yet. Ethiopians do get plus 100 food and plus 100 gold when they arrive to each age. So, that will be helpful. Uh, Blue does have loom, right? Yeah, he does. So, uh, a loomed villager can fight two... Well... You know what? Nowadays on DE, I think bears attack faster than wolves, so... Look at these farms! I am so rooting for red. That's so cute, man. See, it's all about how it looks. It's not about efficiency. One tile gap the whole way around the TC. It looks nice! I feel like it's worth it. Alright. It looks cool. That's really all that matters. Now... Just a small suggestion here for red, and this really matters. If you press your house hotkey again, it will change the way the house is facing. That is new in DE. So if you want perfect farms and perfect houses, I don't think you really should pay attention to it. This is bad advice, but you can do that now. That I, I talked to my brother, and he was like, what? My houses can be symmetrical now? That's huge. So he was very happy about that. And oh, shh. A tower! Whoa! Big ball play from Theron. Where is Red Scout? Okay. Well, he chose not to wall. Shh! <laughs> Guys, is that... Is that tower even in range of the gold? It's really hard for me to tell without grid. One, two, three, four... I think it might hit Goodbye. these bills. I think it hits the bills on the right side of the gold, not the bill to the north of the mining camp. Red is making militia, so he might 
he might I mean, if this happens to you and it's not walled in and there's no more towers, just rush it down with your four vills easily. You, you'll batter it down quickly. Or man at arms in this case. He, oh, he doesn't have loom! He doesn't have loom! Ah! Oh no. Yeah, see? I don't think the tower is fully in range. Okay, Blue, you need to wall this in, buddy boy. And why are you getting forging? What does forging... Forging... <laughs> it helps your scout, which is 7 HP. Okay. Well, it was good while it lasted, but that tower will just go down. Good response from Red. Oh, wait. The scout with forging is here. Oh, good thing we got that upgrade. <laughs> uh... Wait, did he get armor too? I think he got armor too. 300 food into an upgrade on a 7 HP scout. Not the best. Okay. And Red realizes I need more vills. Let's add them. Nice play. It is very close right now. I would say that Red should definitely wall his base. Oh, but Blue, send a vill and Stonewall behind this. Red is coming for the counter. The epic counterattack is on the way. You 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 poked the hornet's nest. You've awoken the bear. Okay, actually, when Blue finishes this archery range, he will have the resources and the buildings to go to Castle Age. What is Red doing in the north? Whoa! Wait a second. Wait a second. I was kind of wondering where the gold villagers went. Did he send all of those vills up here? <laughs> Ow. I think... I think he sent... Because the one's weak. <laughs> so he was like, Ow. Oh, we don't want to deal with any of these towers. I'm going to go to the safest possible area to take gold. I can't go back to the mining camp. Okay. Alright. Um, he is stonewalling. Just, oh, I, I hope he stonewalls the other area, though. Otherwise, like, I think this is good. As long as he stonewalls the other area, he's good. And then I, I would like to see him really take some initiative here and fight and be aggressive, but I think that's probably... It might be scary, guys. I feel like it's very low ELO legend-like to just wait. Like, okay, I'm going to make military, and if he sends anything in, we have something, you know? Instead of saying, oh, well, he's not walled, let's go attack him. It's, okay, let's just sit here. <laughs> Actually, hold on, is he about to stonewall it? Oh, no, he's going to build a stable. Well, he's invested way too much in the feudal age, in my opinion, uh, to not use it, right? So, uh, if you save those re- ANOTHER MINING CAMP ON GOLD! This guy likes efficient mining camps. Okay. Hey, if there's anyone out there who is a miner and they're looking for jobs, I think Red will probably have a few spots available. Um, we have a mining camp here, a mining camp here. I have to say, these are also A-plus mining camps. This is as perfect as it gets for this gold. This is as perfect as it gets for this gold. Um, the one tile gap is good, and he's running in this way. Uh-oh. Blue has archers. What does Red do? How does he react? Does he fight? He has enough to potentially fight. No, don't run! So here, here's the deal. Like, like honestly, the archers, if microed properly, should destroy the man-at-arms. But I think at this level, maybe if you just dive in there and fight, you get more value than you would otherwise. Okay, he's panicking and he's going to stonewall now. Stonewalls are good. Just ask Fat Slob. Rafa King, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks again, Sam, for the dono. Um, guys, I will be reading alerts off during, throughout, <clears throat> throughout the games today. And if this makes it to YouTube in the future and you'd like to stop by, we normally do low ELO Legends on Twitch after Expert Games on weekends. But that very much depends. I think um, the next two weekends might not happen because of the qualifiers. I'm going to be streaming the qualifiers like 10 hours a day on Saturday and Sunday next weekend. Whew, I'm excited. Hmm. Miner, I hardly know her. Okay, I want Red to 
some point. Oh yeah, that's a perfect spot for a blacksmith. That's a perfect spot. Right right between the mining. Um, I want to see him build a mining camp on every single stone and gold pile. Beautiful gates, by the way. I think he wants the, the blacksmith as a building so he can go up. And he now has two buildings. He's thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And... Um, still hasn't clicked up to the castle age. Still thinking about it, think that wait, is he chopping every tree? One, two Wait, what? I think Does he want to get rid of these? He wants to get rid of the trees. You can do that with palisades or any building if you chop them. This really bothers him. This guy must have OCD. Oh my god. <laughs> Chat's like, amen, brother. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, you can't get that one. Wait, but... This is bothering me! You have to... So you can build stuff over them. Okay. What?! I thought he was going to do these as well. So individual trees you can chop and build over. But why chop them and just leave them there? By a show of ones, how many people have so much appreciation for him? I honestly, I would never do that myself because I'm too much of a tryhard and I'm like, Ugh, idle time. But um, honestly, I hate it when there's individual trees like that you can't build on. So, respect. Blue has been on one town center, by the way. Not two. And he also has not really pushed out to attack at all. Uh, but he should. He just wants to wait for five more archers and then crossbow. Now, a small tip would be, don't value the lives of the people in your town as much as you are, Blue, okay? They're meant to fight and die for you. That sounds awful, but it's war. So, what you can do is, even if you don't have good micro, just click the light calf forward, and you can at least know what he's up to, right? So you would see the stone walls, and then you'd, you'd be aware that... Hey, there's stone walls there. I might need rams. Or hey, I should stonewall behind. I should make, you know, I should make economy or something like that. Uh, new town center for him. Uh, with one villager, probably should use the villagers that are idle here. Actually, I know what it is. They're, they're, um... Ah, there it is. Okay, she's decided. This guy still is... He's not working because of wage demands, but he'll figure that out in time. Overall... Uh, it's not too bad for blue. Um, you know, you're you're going to see low elo players struggle to balance how much military they create and how much economy they create. And red has gone for a second town center. Remember, this guy did not take boars as Mongols. They hunt 50% faster. He said, nope. I do not need that. Um, let's check eco upgrades, actually. I, I am scared that they might not be getting their economy upgrades. Uh, please have double bit axe and horse collar. Okay. That's good. No bow saw, no heavy plow. You definitely want to get your wood upgrades at the beginning of every age. And horse collar at the beginning of feudal. Heavy plow, kind of debatable. You're low elo, so you're probably getting it. Or so you're probably floating enough resources to get it. But at least he got the basics. That's good. What about blue? Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that means his farms are going to expire. And this is actually where the T90 farm thing started. Because of expiring farms. He does have military, though, so it's... It's such a simple thing. Like, if I were to make a clickbait video about low elo legends, 10 things low elo players need to do. Honestly, I should probably do that. I feel like that'd be popular. But, um, that's what I would say. Just get eco upgrades. Don't stress about when to get them. I won't even be that particular. Just get your eco upgrades. Hmm. Alright, so the man at arms. 
are about to be mana dead here in a second. All right, blue chase, chase, my friend. You've already you you've already seen that you can kill them. He's <laughs> repairing the house. Oh God, don't repair it. That's not actually someone's home. It is just as worth. It's just as useful to you when on fire as when not. Ah, uh, all right. So I have to tell this story now because a lot of you guys probably never heard this. So. There's a thing on Twitch you can do when you stop streaming, it's called a host, okay? That means I send all of my viewers to someone who normally does not have a lot of people watching, okay? I love to do it because you have people who are streaming for like one viewer, and then all of a sudden, boom, 3,000, hello, people are spamming T90 salutes, people get all emotional, and uh, it's a great way to like show love amongst communities, right? So I remember this was like two over two years ago. I hosted some college kid who was playing Age of Empires 2, and he was very noob. He was losing to the AI, right? And so he was so thankful, like, what, T90, I watch your YouTube videos, oh my god, thank you. You know, really happy, really upbeat, I really like the guy. So, we're all in his chat, and he's getting ransacked by the AI, and he had, uh, like, a, a group of houses, kind of like this, that was previously getting rams down, and then the ram was destroyed. So his houses were on fire. I made the joke, and I said, Hey, you should repair your houses so your villagers don't die from smoke inhalation. Which is a lie. That is not true. Your villagers will not die from smoke inhalation. That's not a thing. However, he was starstruck, so he was like, Oh my god! T90 hosted me, and so the only thing he saw from the chat was me saying, your villagers are going to die from smoke inhalation. So he spent hundreds of wood repairing his houses. He's like, oh, thanks, T90. Oh, I wouldn't have known that one. This game is just really complicated, isn't it? There's so many things to know. How do you know this? All the while, I'm like, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I felt really bad. I never saw that guy again. I don't know what happens. Um, maybe he doesn't like me anymore. But this game is really close. A uh, 59 population for red, 58. Uh, uh, sorry, no, it was 60 population for red and villagers, and then pretty much 60 for blue. But if blue were to just attack, he would be great. Uh, but he seems really scared. Okay, so pop quiz, uh, T90 professor time. What should Red do if he sees his opponent is making archers? Whoa, what is that? Ooh, scouts. Okay, it does depend. So it depends is definitely relevant. Resign is not relevant, okay. Um, you should go for a siege workshop. Uh, have you seen a fat slob game? Siege behind the walls would be perfect. What he instead did was he got full armor on long swords, which are very, very, very situational in Castle Age, so I would not suggest that. However, he has run through over here, and he's ready for the attack. Tell me Blue has Loom. Blue does have Loom. I have a feeling Blue might overreact to this attack. And if Blue was scared before to attack, he's going to be scared now if the Light Cav make it in. I think there's a hole there. Yep, 5,000 gold and making light cab, which don't cost gold. Hey, he's just saving it. Don't you know the strat? Look at all the gold he's mining. He's also getting stone shaft mining when he's not mining any stone. <laughs> he had one villager mining stone, actually. Now he's getting stone shaft mining, which is the second stone upgrade. But he's not mining stone. But he will. He will. He's just getting that for later, okay? <clears throat> It's like, uh, the other night, I was eating tacos, and I got some on my face, and my girlfriend's like, you have taco on your face, wipe that off, that's disgusting. And I said, I'm saving that for later, it's fine. It's the same situation. Wow, this is a lot of upgrades for just light calf. Uh, full armor, and full attack. Hmm. I like how they're getting upgrades. I really need to know what the plan is with the trees, though. He just chopped them all once. Just enough to, to make them fall. 
Wait. Beep, boom, bad. Is this the moment? Is this the moment? You could build palisades over all of them. Just delete the palisade foundations. They'd all be gone. Timo. Oh. Oh, he's getting the relic. He's getting the relic. Sneaky, sneaky. I feel like things in Red's base definitely have more of a purpose. He built walls. He, um... <laughs> he's castling there? <laughs> that... I don't know. There's something about that castle that cracks me up. Because it's like... This would make a whole lot more sense. But instead, he's placed it anywhere but on the trees. I don't get why you would chop the trees and then place the castle a spot where it doesn't cover the trees. Okay. Uh, but anyways, Red also is getting relics, so it shows that he has a... Whoa. I think Blue wanted that relic. I wonder if Blue will realize. Wow, this is like Tetris over here. Let's see how much we can fit into one spot at Blue's base. Dropping a castle right between the stone and the gold for maximum villager efficiency. And charge! Red is now attacking the houses. Now, will Blue repair the house? That is the most important thing. He's reacting. He's sending his crossbows. I think that was just a prank. <laughs> I think Red was just pranking him. Red might not have small tree mod. Oh, that's true! He might not have small tree mod. That's true. Oh my god, it's probably likely he doesn't have small tree mod. He wanted to see over the trees. It was for vision. Oh. I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Thank you, guys. Sometimes I just... I get all high and mighty up on my small trees mod horse. And I forget what the game is really like. Four relics for red. So that, that will be good. And still hasn't made many gold units at all. Hmm. I mean, I don't like them because it affects pathing and because it's hard to build places. But I think he genuinely wanted to see. Hey, there's the castle. Will he go up to the next stage? Oh, he's building a new lumber camp finally. Let's go. Yeah, and he has Imperial Age queued up. I didn't realize because it looked like he hadn't clicked to the Imperial Age because of all those resources. But he could go twice. He took his good old time. Okay, let's talk about what you should go for as Mongols, if you have the time. Elite Mangadai and Siege. Siege Onager you have. Siege Ram you have. Mangadai, which is one of the best unique units you have. Um, you could go Hussar as well. I wouldn't recommend going with anything else, but if you really like Cavalier for whatever reason, you shouldn't pick Mongols. But it's okay. It's okay. They do lack the, the final armor upgrade. Yeah, you could go for Arbalest. Um, might be a bit easier for low elo legends to do that, but... Again, ideally, that's what you'd be shooting towards, just so you know. Blue reached the Imperial Age. To so far, do nothing. Um, I I'm not sure if he got freaked out earlier. Oh, wow, he has the two Arbalest protecting the hill. But Red did attack him with Light Cav and then flee. And maybe that put him on the defensive. Oh. Reality, you should see that you're in the Imperial Age. And at least, again, at least send a unit forward. If he would have sent a single unit forward to attack the wall, he would get to see what Red is making. He would see there's a castle there. He could tread the castle down. But I don't think that is common for low elo legends. I think instead, low elo legends, they just make an army they're happy with, and then they fight. And then they hope for the best from there. <laughs> you have to wait for 200 pop. Indeed, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, Blue could win. Blue could win. He actually has an army in war. Okay, this is not just SimCity or, or Mining Camp Simulator. Or Tree Chopping Simulator. This, this is war. So, Red might have a lot of resources... He might have the relics, but the guy... Whoa, how did he get all five? I didn't realize he had all five. That, that's that's huge, but he's not making military. He is? 
Um, but he's lacking upgrades. Oh, and here comes Blue. Is he also going to chop the trees? <gasps> it's the same strategy. The tree chopper is here. Was that intentional or did he misclick? <laughs> did he just escort him? <laughs> I think he escorted him. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? I'm not sure. I think he grouped up his whole army and just happened to move the dude back. Which makes me think initially he, he clicked the army this way and had a vill. Wait. Did he go box formation there? Did he just box around the... Okay. There goes the arbalest. It should get shot by the castle. This is a good thing. Again, do not value lives as much as you are, guys. There we go. That was worth it. Now send traps. It's too bad this house is so important to him because he can't freaking path through here. Okay, he double clicked the arbs. Now he has to move the skirms. Here come the trebuchets. And I think Red might freak out. He does not have fletching. He does not have bodkin. He does not have bracer. He has very little ranged upgrades. Red has all the resources in the world. Okay, now he's making siege workshops. This is stress. This is stress time for low elo legends. No, it, Blue might not have as many resources, but he spent resources. And Ethiopian Arbalest are... Oh, Red doesn't know this. Red doesn't know this! Mangadai are great, but you need upgrades! Blue has almost all of his attack upgrades. He is missing chemistry, which I'm going to cut him some slack on. But he has the blacksmith upgrades in attack. And Red was researching something in the castle, but it's going down now. Okay, now he's going to make Maganels. Uh-oh. Monk S. T90S. It's sweating time here. Uh, if he just... Whoa! Okay, his castle's over here. He's making traps. But if he just researched Onager, he might be okay. Because remember, it's going to take Blue a long time to muster up the courage to run through here. Also, Blue still does not have elite skirmisher, which is a concern. You could sell that wood for extra gold, by the way. Um, if you really wanted to, I think that's a smart move. Okay, where is Red going? Says these guys are builders. Was he going to repair that gate? I think he wanted to repair the gate. Because <laughs> they stopped after the gate went down. This is definitely an episode right here. Like, if we... If we if the game continues, this is definitely an episode. Red seems to be the better boomer. Um, or the better banker. Of resources, anyways. He is researching Onager. He could go for Siege Onager afterwards. He's making a ton of Siege. Now, okay, guys. What is Red vulnerable to? This is going to be very difficult for Blue to figure out. But what is what would kill Red? You could just have five of them. Honestly. Light calf. Like, anything, anything melee could kill this. Ideally, something, like, calf related. So, you go cavalier, and you take out the siege, and then you move in the arbalest. Oh, blue is scouting! This is what I wanted to see earlier. This is good. This is good. Look, he can see that. He's, oh, really? That's all he has? That's good. That's a pro play right there. All right. Oh, man, he's going for his own siege. That's not bad. You could also make Bombard Cannon, since you have chemistry. Oh, no, he doesn't have chemistry. Chemistry is big. It gives you plus one attack on their archers, and also you can make Bombard Cannons with that. With some sieves. Also, um, Elite Mangadai is on the way for Red for his one Mangadai, which still only has Bloodlines for the HP and Fletching. So that is going to be the most resources invested into a single Magatai ever. Wait, why is he getting supplies? Oh, he's getting, he wants to get everything. Okay, supplies will make his infantry cost less food. He's also teching into infantry. He had them earlier, and they also look really cool. So you have to get that. I think infantry is definitely a trap for low-level players. Like, for the most part, 
Infantry is very hard to control. Unless you have Halbs. I think Halb and Siege can make a lot of sense. Whoa, did Red hear me say get chemistry? Okay. Whoa, look at He's getting everything! Chemistry, guard tower, fortified wall, murder holes, siege engineers, ballistics, and masonry. That is value right there. That is value. Oh, oh god, he got drill! Oh my god, no blue! Send the light, Kevin! No! Run! And the Megadai is leading the charge! That's hilarious! That's hilarious! Genghis Khan has just sent his troops out to victory. Wow. Oh, rip Genghis. <laughs> rip Genghis. <laughs> oh my god, what did I just see? Okay, again, if you send in- Oh god, he clicked the tree! Oh, he clicked the tree and just destroyed his own units. Oh boy. We've all been there, Blue. It's fine, okay? We've all been there. That That's why you take care of the tree. Oh, that's why Red left the trees here. It's a trap. No, Red! Don't build a castle there! <laughs> I can't take it! I can't take it! No! 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 No, 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 no! Or wait, maybe yes. I, I don't... I can't tell. Uh, Big boy siege rolling through. Oh! Calculated. Calculated. All right, I, like I said, I think it's gonna be hard for Blue to realize that he can make light cap there. Any cab destroys that. No, don't, no, don't. No, 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 do you really, no. I think he looked at the tech tree and it says that Ethiopians excel with archers and siege. That's probably it. And so he's like, okay, well, I have to make archers and siege. I can't make anything else. Whoa, and now Red wants to wall this up. So he built the castle there so he could stonewall and then lose the castle. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That's fine. That's a lot of villagers walling. He could send in the siege monitors. It seemed to work before, but he has other plans. Okay. Now he's making the gate. Hmm. Now remember, you could quite literally just play Fat Sob style here because you have way more gold due to the relics. Blue eventually will run out of all mineable gold. So Blue needs to kill. Oh, he's making elite show tells. Tell me he has upgrades on them. Elite show tells. Nice. I like it. So Shotels would be a form of melee. They are a bit low HP. The, the struggle with adding melee in against Mongols is Mongols should have Elite Magadai, which is range. But they don't right now, so... Uh, I have not seen a Shotel Warrior yet to check upgrades. I'm assuming he's probably missing some. Woo, boy! If they are elite, though... They have a lot of base attack. Alright. Let's look at Red's base again. Only 100 population, guys. Still going through all of those techs from earlier. I, I don't hate the fact that he's doing that. Again, just get the techs. It's just... Sometimes you need to prioritize. You really don't need to build castles there. He really likes these spots. And, you know, in his defense, if the castles are up in those spots, it looks kind of like a scenario of some kind. Also, the gate is now open. Uh, he did snipe Blue's trebuchet. Okay. He's using the trebs. I mean, you'll get kills. <laughs> You'll get kills. <laughs> and then you have the castle fire behind. The effect you see with the enhanced graphics is a whole lot more than what, is act what, what actual damage is, ha is uh, being dished out. But Okay. Oh, the micro. The micro god. Oh god, into the castle fire. Oh god, into the castle fire. Into the castle fire. Micro! Dodge! Dodge! Oh, let's go! Pog champs! 
in the chat. Dodge. Boom. Beautiful. Worth it. Worth it. Dodge again. Yeah. Let's go. Boom. All right. Now those are going to be tough to deal with. We probably need to get. We, we probably need to get some more units. <gasps> uh oh. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? The manga die. They approach it. Still lacking a mess of upgrades, but they at least have vodka arrow. Again, t infantry at the low level is a trap. Okay, it it <laughs> it's so much easier to control ranged units than it is infantry. But I don't think blue can really do much about these walls right now, and it's it's bothering him. Is it worth it? He killed two Trebs and lost a ton of Arbs. Red won that war. No, but what Red doesn't have is the moral victory. There's moral victory in if if you micro well, right? So, R Red definitely lost in spirit there. Alright, that skirmisher is a big deal. Definitely to make sure you Treb that. Definitely- Oh! <laughs> Whoa, did he just set? Did you see that? He set rally points for it so it would distract the Trebs. That was the distraction right there. <laughs> I love it. Let's see if he tries it again. He must really like that idea. <laughs> That's so much siege. Honestly, there's no way Ethiopian should ever kill- There's no way Mosiv should ever kill this many Siege Onagers in Mangadai, if they were upgraded. And if they're micro properly, which we're not going to see, apparently. But if you're red, like, you don't have the most confidence in your gameplay. He did think smart about getting the relics, so... He's a smart cookie. Damn it, I've been streaming for 8 hours, and now I really want the cookie. But this is for sure going to YouTube. This might just crash and burn and one person might win, um, like red might flatten blue and the game might be over. But also, blue could onager cut through the trees and surprise attack and... I don't know, I, I just have this queasy feeling in my stomach that red could throw this somehow. So, you know how red went to the university earlier and stacked all the upgrades? Do you guys remember that? When he did that, we laughed. We said, wow, he stacked everything in the university. But after that, what's he have? All of his university techs. There's this thing called the blacksmith. And it not only affects your archers, it also affects your calf. It also affects your infantry. So I would really like to see him do that with the blacksmith too. Now, it's not ideal, it's not what we normally see, because normally time is of the essence, but that is obviously not the case here. So I hope at some point, he goes into that blacksmith and just taps all those upgrades. Because it's worrying to me how expensive this army is, and how little upgrades he has. So let me talk through all the upgrades. Mangadai are pretty complicated, because they need the most upgrades out of any unit to uh, be fully upgraded. He's missing Bracer and Chemistry for attack. He's missing the first armor upgrade, the second upgrade in defense. He's missing Parthian Tactics out of the Archer range, which is also defense. He's missing Thumb Ring, which is also there. I think he might be missing Husbandry, which affects the speed. He had- Oh, he has Chemistry! Oh god, he doesn't even have Bodkin Arrow. Okay, so he needs Bodkin Arrow and Bracer, and has Chemistry. Sorry. He has Bloodlines, we're good. All right. <laughs> well, we, we definitely don't have what it takes to flatten an army of archers, so we need to go the long way. Oh, uh-oh, the skirmisher's back. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, the micro! Oh, the micro! I love that. I, lo I really wish Blue would at least get lead skirm, but I love how he keeps sending one unit out there. All right, onager cut. Shh. You know what's crazy? From Blue's point of view, you might be able to hear this on DE. Listen. See, that's a bug. You should never hear that. Listen. 
Yeah, that's Blue's point of view. I, I've realized this myself. See? If he's looking this way, he can hear it. Yeah. It, like, I don't know how far sound carries. <laughs> with, uh... See, oh, God! Oh, God! He just killed his own onager! I think that's the first onager he's lost, actually. Um, but yeah, I wonder if Blue will react to that. All right, he's using non-elite skirmishers to attack Trebs. He's really focused on the micro. Okay, I guess Red wants to surprise attack. If Blue just added units and attacked Red now, Red might be in trouble. It's not a bad game plan, though. I don't hate it. I, I don't understand what Blue... Blue doesn't seem to know what to do against these walls. And he really likes to micro. Liking micro and being good at micro are two different things. <clears throat> Alright. Um... Like, I don't think there's anyone here who could use that many skirmishers to micro against Trevs and Siege Auditors like that. You know, it's just not... You gotta pick the right battles. Okay, can we run a poll, please? Can, I want to know if he's cutting to the golds and the stone, or if he's cutting to blue. At this point, I'm voting for gold and stone. I, I do not believe he's going for blue, unless he's looping the whole way around. Again, I think blue, depending on where he's looking... <laughs> he wants to build a castle there! Move your units, dude! See, what he's been lacking is just a castle here, some of his own trebs, red runs out, red dies to the castle. It's a little bit cramped in this town. Look, he can hear that. That's a bug. You should not be able to hear that. Oh, he's probably freaking out right now. Yeah, see? Did the trees even flutter? Oh my god, that is such a bug. Look. <laughs> if you look, it flutters. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, we'll have to report that one. We can tell that red is coming this way. Blue, he knows he's going to be attacked, so he's really trying to build this castle, but I don't understand. Wait, it stopped. It stopped. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. What? Did the game drop? What? Okay, okay. So, R Red is doing something. Okay, he's making Hussars. I like how he made more than... More than one stable. That's good. Did he get... Tell me he got blacksmith upgrades. Whew, okay, still doesn't, but we don't have the gold for that. Only 2,000 gold with all the relics on the map. Uh, oh, he's making a gate! Ah! Yeah, you would hate to cut the path for your opponent. Alright. Blue! Okay, he has realized he's pop-capped, so he's making houses, but he has not realized that the castle that he placed, like, 10 minutes ago still hasn't been built. So, if he can't realize that, I'm really scared he's not going to realize that Red is cutting into his base with the Mongol Horde. This is triggering me so much! Theron, I'm rooting for you! Okay, you know what? Don't even worry about the lumber camp efficiency, because we have the wood. It's like an Arby's commercial, except it's like... Blue's base. We've got the wood! Who cares about that, but man, build the castle! <gasps> oh! Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait for it? Uh. Yes! Okay. Alright, he's alive again. He's alive again. Here, here it goes. Now, what would be really funny to me is if red works all this time to think about cutting through to blue, and then blue starts attacking red, and red sends everything back. So if blue attacks fast enough, I genuinely think red, 
after like going 20 minutes cutting through the trees will come all the way back so blue you better be quick you better be quick get these trebs on that castle man it's just asking for it sometimes low elo is just about who attacks first okay is he making two paths don't tell me he's going to send a treb here and just sit and unpack it and try and fire on random crap in the guy's base Oh, it's like... I have, I have no words. I just love these two to death. Can we please give some, put some hearts in the chat for these two? These guys are probably going to be laughing their asses off when they watch their play later. Oh my god, I didn't even think about the fact that Blue could literally treb from the other side of the trees. As opposed to figuratively treb from the other side of the trees. Okay, now what will Red do? He's definitely going to stop whatever he's doing here. He has to. He'll get the attack noise. Oh! No! God, man! Blue, you're not Viper! You can't micro against Siege Hunters! Get out of here! Back up! Oh, calculate! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The castle was there though, so he did get he did kill a siege monitor, so I think the value wasn't great, but yeah, he got wrecked. See, red has kind of stopped over here. He'll lose that castle. I think we can all agree that was not the wisest castle to place. He's making hussars now. Oh wow, blue stonewalled over here. That's nice. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Varian. Varian is so ruthless. Varian in the chat said this match is like fats up with lobotomy. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Woo. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love it, though. I love it. Okay, Blue... Oh, God. You know, I know exactly what Blue's thinking. He's thinking, I'm gonna treb the stone wall, and then that's where I attack. But if he trebs the stone wall and runs through that choke, he's going to get flattened by siege hunters. Okay, he's making helps, which I don't know if he's seen the Hussars, but that would be the correct move. Maybe he spotted one. Red is cutting all the way to the gold... He is 3,000 gold, and he's cutting to the gold right now. 3,000 gold. Listen, it's not a bad move. But can we all agree that Red should win this based on the tech that he has and everything? He should definitely win this. Okay. There he goes. Now make sure you build a gate here, just in case. Gate, gate, extra safe. This gate will go down. All right. Oh, he needs stone to build another castle. That's true. I don't think Red will fight until he has another castle within the opponent's treb range. He he wanted a castle on either side of the gate. Like that looks, with the way the gates are set up and the castles would be placed, it looks like a base you would have in a scenario. So I can I can appreciate that. Okay, he's getting conscription now. See, he wasn't ready to fight before because his units weren't producing fast enough. Conscription means his units will produce faster. If he were to get upgrades on the Mangadai, this game is unlosable as Mongols. Unlosable! Wow. Okay. There he goes. Okay, I wonder if Ulock works. <clears throat> We're going to try... Actually, I'm going to try this for blue first. View lock. It doesn't normally work. Or at least it doesn't... It's not accurate. Oh, wait. He just set something onto the... Did he just set his trebs onto that stable? I think... Uh-oh. Boom! Okay. I think he just set his trebs onto that stable. It looks like bro... <laughs> bro is watching. What's up, Josh? My brother's here. If you think this is bad, you should see him play. I'm kidding. I love you. Um, I mean, I'm not exaggerating, but... <gasps> ah! 
Micro! Micro! Micro blue! Micro! Mike! Oh! Oh my god! He's a beast! No, don't attack the stable! No, not the- Oh, he wanted to take that stable out, man. That was so important to him. Oh, but the Shoto Warrior! What did I tell you about any form of melee? Any form of melee. It's happening. Look what the show tells will do. Red's like, ah, what do I do? Oh, I send villagers after it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Red, just a word of advice. You do have Mangadai, so you do have some range to snipe any melee to protect the siege, all right? Um, blue should be filled with confidence after that, though. Send in more melee. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. Whew, okay, okay. All right, it's fine. I'm, I'm on team blue right now because I know blue is at a big Civ disadvantage and I'm sick of Civ wins. We casted the fair Civ cup earlier. And um, honestly, this has nothing to do with gameplay, everything to do with Civ. Obvious capo. Oh! Melee pokey poke and red realizes it's not time to defend. It's instead time to counterattack. <gasps> It's happening! Let's go! 44 Hussars and 40... Wow, really? 44 of each? Wow, did he count them or what? Uh, th is this about to be a base trade? Blue, how will he react to this? What are the chances that he would have 44 of each though? feel like that was intentional okay here come the light cat from blue again lacking blacksmith upgrades that has been the theme for both of them throughout this game even if you don't know the names of them just please go to the blacksmith it would definitely save your caster um, from a few headaches and also get you a few more wins remember red got the relics earlier so that the relics have been bringing in so much gold for him and here he comes okay view lock for blue Will it work? This is where I was looking before I said on view lock. Uh oh. Okay, he noticed something. We're not seeing a whole lot of defensive movement. I don't think that you could possibly deal with this. Um, he... Clicked the villager, he clicked the farm. He has siege onagers on the way back. Okay, he's hiding the vills. This is good. He's bringing halberdiers back, and he does have siege onagers. I think that he could defend from this. Mainly because Red doesn't... I, I don't think he's very confident with his unit movement. Big siege onager shot. Remember the Mangatai are not fully upgraded. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, all the farmers, all the beautiful farmers have died to light calf. Okay, so we are not focusing on the economies anymore. It is all about military. Oh, oh God, I'm just sensing it. Does anyone know if Blue has Taurus and Engines? Ethiopian Siege is no joke. Oh God, he's using the trebs against it. Ah! There's three of them. Red, use the Hussars against the Siege. Use the Hussars against the Siege. The Hussars on the Siege. Hussars, Siege, please. Okay, he's doing it. He's doing it. It's fine. I never doubt it. We've got this. Panic mode activated for both, though. Guys, Blue has more population. He has a very successful raid going. He could defend from this and bounce back. Earlier, we, we casted uh, Hera MBL and then Viper Leary, and honestly, this is more competitive. I would not exaggerate. Casters do not do that. Good production from Blue. Good production. Like, full production of Halbs, uh, and that's about it. Oh, please attack the Siege with the, with the with the melee. Nice, dude. Nice. That's, uh, that's amazing recognition. Like, if he attacked the Mangadai first, I think that would have been a mistake. So he's going after some of the Siege Onagers. Actually, this is 300 IQ because Red will just friendly fire. 
Uh oh, or not. Oh! All right, so maybe like more like 20 IQ, but it still it still results in him having more military. That was Red's attack. Now he will have to make more units and and reboom and oh, this will all die. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, good thing he has 18,000 wood. He must have forgotten about these villagers down here. Red, blue has 64 bills. He has 62 idols. Okay. Red, it's time for another wave. Do we question whether or not our Mangadai was effective enough there? Do we triple check our upgrades? No, we don't. Because we're confident in our ability. We are confident in our game knowledge. So no no upgrade, no additional upgrades to the Mangadai. Just so you know, Mangadai that lack thumb ring and all the other upgrades, they're just not the same. It's like, hmm, trying to find a real life comparison here. <clears throat> it's like a Ferrari without the wheels, okay? It's just, it's just not the same. It looks good, but it's not near as effective. Um... Hussars against Halbs, not ideal, but blue also. Lacking every single defense upgrade. That's one, two, three upgrades. And then also lacking two out of, the, out of the three attack upgrades. Also, blue is really struggling to deal with these Hussar raids. Um, I'm not even sure if red is paying attention to this at this point. It's just the units were left here, and yeah, uh, that happens. As much as I want blue to have a chance in this game, it does feel like... Due to the fact that he has zero gold, and Red has done a really good job stockpiling resources, and because <clears throat> Red is creating units now, um, I think this is probably Red's game. But this is, I think we've had a lot of lessons here, and a lot of epic moments. I've also seen some pretty incredible things in Low Elo Legends. I have seen players in Red's position lose because they freak out because of an attack, so I'm not willing to call it. But Red is... Re he's repairing the wall. He's repairing the wall. Oh, no. So this is a bit of a weird thing. But... You probably should just wall behind. It. it it's worth it, and it's mm -hmm. ten times as fast to just build another wall behind. I don't know if it should be that way, but... He likes this wall, and his his ancestors built this wall, and he's going to repair the wall, okay? He's just respecting his elders. Also, 716 gold here. I guess he figures he has enough. Alright. And he wants to go again. What's Blue up to? Still making non-elite skirms. And he is, guys, if he sells that wood, I believe he's just doing it. If he sells wood and food, he could get gold. I and mean, obviously, Red could do the same. Melee against Siege. Perfect. Well played, Red. I'm not sure if he noticed that immediately, if he patrolled or what, but that's a perfect move. And now running back. Yes, the micro. Now, Mangadai in. Okay, you know what? Blue's Halberdiers still will die because... No upgrades, so. Alright. <laughs> this has been a great game, man. This has been a fantastic Low Elo Legends match. Imagine if Blue would have snagged a couple of the relics for himself. Um, I, I think that he would be in a much better position. Holy, okay. He really has had a hard time sorting out his idol villagers, too. I think building up your economy is one thing, but it's extremely difficult to stabilize your economy for these players. It's it's a bit like the armies where you make one army and then it's like, okay, that's it. I think Lowly Legends, you make an economy and if it gets attacked, it gets attacked. You do not think about making more bills, normally. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's enough helps. Some show tells. Some light calf. Um, so if none of the units are upgraded fully, who wins? 
Oh, Megadire firing so slowly, it's so sad. The Skirms are also lacking defense upgrades. But there's still Skirms against Mangadai that lack upgrades, so the Skirms will wreck. Ow. Guys, Red can't lose this, right? I don't think he can. Can he? Will he? It would be so sad. He has 41,000 wood, 13,000 food, 5,000 gold. I'm so torn between him losing because it'd be an epic comeback for Blue. Or him winning and just feeling bad for Blue because he's been having to deal with all of this. Like, I both of these guys have put on such a show for us, I kind of want both to win. Hmm. He really likes to micro his Siege Onagers. That I've realized. I think he it's not the first time he's played Mongols. All right, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> the stress levels must be so high right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh God, not one halberdier. Okay, good, send the Mangadai in. That's perfect, well played. Yes. Boom! What's he doing over here? Oh, he's chopping wood. Okay. I, I noticed the blue did get elite skirmisher. Oh, and he's repairing his castle. Wait, did I miss how that castle ended up on fire? He's making camels now. Ugh. The trebs from earlier. Hmm. Well, Blue, I want it to happen for you. I'm not sure if this AI army composition is going to do it, though. Um... Well? <laughs> the camels! Let's go! Let's go, Micro Nerd! Let's go! The Vangadai are slowly falling. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That's not good. Uh-oh. He's getting conversions on Mangadai. Oof. Nice micro, Red. Nice micro. I'm beginning to remember why low elo legend games take a whole afternoon. <laughs> I'm beginning to remember because it takes so long to mass the units, especially if you send them this far. He could just cut through this way. So if I were Red, I would just take some time. I would get my stables, set a gather point, shift click the units. Like he's just done with the castle. Shift click the units. I think at this point they will never look at a blacksmith again. They've just. They just don't think there's anything more they could possibly do. Oh, the micro from blue. Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! Alright, Red's sending more siege on the Jews in. Nice. Most pop red has had is 150. I know. He's he's honestly so good. He's trying to handicap himself, alright? If he had constant production all the time, people wouldn't be able to keep up. Wow, did he just send monks in here to heal his units? I think he did. He's definitely trying to nerf himself. He also has enough stone to maybe build a castle on this hill so he could have better reinforcement. He, wait, hold on. I think he's making space for more buildings. That's probably it, right? And blue... Oh, man. <laughs> Those skirmishers are all going to get flattened, aren't they? Yeah, I, I genuinely believe he wants to... Wait, he set these guys on a path to here, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I think he wants to build up there. Oh. Oh, he can hear it. He can hear it. Oh, God. That should not happen, by the way. Microsoft? Oh, whoa. That shouldn't happen either. That, no, that should not. I don't think that's a spec bug. Because it should be everything that Blue can, can see in here from here. 
Yeah, forward buildings. Nice. Okay. Wait, is it when a building goes up in the area where the trees have been chopped that it does that? It, you see that? Let's see if he does it again. 58 skirmishers. Oh, God. Blue, Blue, you are a trooper. You are an absolute trooper to continue to try here. Ow. Now, what would be funny is if Red loses all of his Mangadai, then the camels will kill the Siege Onagers. <gasps> micro Blue! Micro Blue! Micro! Micro! You see it! You don't see it! You see it now! Split! Camels! Oh, it's all right. He got one. Worth it. Oh, go, 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 go. Go, quick, quick, quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's test this again. Oh, he's building it in the other spots. Never mind. All right. He has the right idea, sending the camels in. Sadly, he only has feudal age defense and attack upgrades. So it will be now. It's been a while crocodile hyped for hidden cup there. So Blue is producing more units, but his strategy is just throwing bodies after or into the into the battle, right? This is actually how wars were fought. Okay. <laughs> this is actually how most wars were fought. Uh, fun fact, Pharaoh resigns with 109 population. Red one with 103. Yep, that's right. The guy who resigned had more population. One hour and 51 minutes. I think the best way to sum this up, first off, <laughs> um, Red had, a, I think, a better post him Civ, and his unupgraded units were better. Like, if they were fully upgraded, it would have been better as well. But I think Elite Mangadai Siege Onager is way better than Skirmisher Siege Onager, right? <clears throat> um... Also, Red did a much better job prepping for a long game. If we look to the gold collected, huge difference. He cut to the extra golds. Um, he also had the relics. Ten! That was the difference! That was the difference. 10,000 gold from the relics. I believe two were on blue side, and Red somehow got there. And he also got that additional gold. So, relics honestly changed this game so much. If blue had more golds, he could maybe make his own siege onagers. Uh, which are in many ways a bit better. Now, when you look at the timeline, you think, wow, these guys were at 200 population, 100 military for both, back and forth the entire game. Really? It was more like 110 population? <laughs> um, but Blue, right here, remember, he had the military, and he could have maybe attacked before Red decided to do it himself, uh, but he just wasn't ballsy enough. He was too scared to make a move. <clears throat> Um, that game is going to be a low ELO Legends episode. Blue, if you rewatch this, keep an eye on the relics. Uh, maybe when you're in the Imperial Age faster, try and send a scout out and make a move. Red, well, actually, both of you get your upgrades, okay? I don't care if you don't know what the names are, but if you go to the blacksmith and click everything, because you have the time and the resources, it will definitely help you. <laughs> okay? I'm not going to stress out over people not knowing the names of upgrades as long as they get all the upgrades. It might help you to look because then you'll learn for when you get better and then you need to prioritize certain ones. But uh, just getting all of them would help you <clears throat> help you all out a lot. Trust me. Um, and also don't stress it. Okay? Um, like I said, most people who watch this series have a good time. Um, I know that certain people who were in previous episodes have played more since and are a whole lot better. So they would no longer qualify for Low Elo Legends. And I guess as a final note to YouTube, if you're watching this, uh, again, I, I do this on my Twitch stream. If you haven't stopped by the Twitch stream, the link's in the description. And also there's a whole playlist for this if this is the first one you saw. That was a mouthful. I think that's all I have to say. Um, and I don't think we can top that tonight. 